a month, man, and I ain't got 750 to pay. Ben, a, ben, what I, what I usually say, Ben Affleck. Ben Affleck. <laughs> ben Affleck. <laughs> but th- between this boy's last movie, which was Gone Baby Gone, and this movie right here, he really hates Boston, man. And don't pick up a woman from there because she definitely, she's got a kid already. Yeah. She's on dope. It takes a lot to make a sexy bitch like Blake Lively look skanky and untouchable, but damn if he didn't do it. What most people uh, say is disgusting, I usually say is obtainable. So, <laughs> <laughs> so that is a good point. The way Ben Affleck portrays people in his movies, they're either very violent, very angry criminals, or they're women who just don't give a shit about their kids. I mean, kids, they pretty much give their kids a crack pipe with a nipple at the top, or a gun. He, he has risen like a phoenix in the ashes from his career being a joke as an actor to be just this phenomenal director who really understands how to make good crime movies. The boy knows story structure. He knows how to get great performances out of people. He knows how to pull in tension and have movies that that are written with such great dialogue. With this movie right here in particular, The Town, deals with four friends. And these guys, well, they're bank robbers. You know, you got to give them credit. They are very good at robbing banks. They're not very good at sewing up loose ends. They end up taking one of the... An employee's hostage. It's a girl played by Rebecca Hall. Usually, what we find with with gangs like this, you have the young stupid guy, you have the fat guy, you have the handsome guy. Oh, guess who that is in this? And the, then well, you, the, the smart guy, the brains, and the okay. guy who flies off the handle yeah. and throws and, a chair. Yeah. And, and the you crazy got the, guy. You got the crazy guy, and that's Jeremy Renner in this. He is the guy that says, "Hey, look." This bitch knows something, all right? And I'm just saying, we just offer right now. And Ben Affleck, you know, him being a compassionate criminal, he's like, look, I'll go and follow this girl, make sure nothing's happening, make sure she doesn't get out of control. He doesn't even talk to her. She talks to him. They're in a laundry man. She's like, hey, can I borrow some cord? He's like, damn, what the f*** this girl? So they end up going, you know, they end up dating. But, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so you can kind of tell where this is going to go. I mean, she's brought into the mix. Feelings get involved. You got that one guy who, if he finds out about it, is not going to be any good for any of them. You know what? I, we know what I really like about this movie though finally these bank robbers got it right they know what to do when it comes to picking masks if you're a bank robber you've got to go with the scary costume these people pick like skeleton faces and for some reason nuns which i find very scary like that little kid <laughs> that was in the middle of the street who saw that yeah. car go by you think he's looking at their rifles but he's looking like damn those some scary ass nuns in that car <laughs> very classic crime themes it is a heist film it's a cops and robber movie it is it has elements of the mafia in there and i think people recognize that and some people probably won't like that however they give you the reason why they are what they are and i like that they give you that dimension to these characters but it's reinvigorating them with yeah. their life but it is still very familiar tropes and it did on a sense it did get on my nerves a little bit that they felt like we've just got to explore the same old story it's a thriller it, at best it, okay to a full-fledged action film yes yeah. it does become a full-fledged well, action film yeah yeah with, no, with a, a fantastic car chase and and one of the best shootouts i've seen oh, in yeah. a decade talk about how it's it's like people might be turned off by it being like other movies but i just thought it did a better job than those other movies i don't know how much more they could have drawn those characters out for you you might recognize john ham from mad man he plays the head of the fbi department that's going after these guys here if this was any lesser film he would be that asshole fed guy he, he'd, he'd be a dirty cop that's a at this point a cliche in and of itself yes yeah. so it's, it's it was refreshing not to see that you dummies shot a guard. Now you're like a half off sale with big and tall. Every cop is in line. Fortunately, though, for you, this guard has miraculously clung to life. Now, if it were up to me and they gave me two minutes and a wet towel, I would personally asphyxiate this half wit so we could string you up on a federal M1 and end this story with a bag on your head and a paralyzing agent running through your veins. But I did want to say one thing. You're here today so I could personally tell you that you are going to die in federal prison. Pete Postaway, and I think that he was very good in this film, but he does something that just tries to make him a little bit too evil. Chris Cooper comes in. He never ceases to amaze me. It's not a perfect film by any means, but I, I'll be lying if I say I didn't love this movie, but this is a major full price for me. If I had one complaint, it was like the, the very last shot which is a little too much. It could have cut off sooner than that. You know what? That's not going to ruin this movie for me. This movie is a super high full price. I will give it a full price. Not a high, super high full price like these fellows here who's are, are balls deep in it, but, you know, I, I'll give it a, a solid. 
I, I would say I just put the head in. I'm not balls deep like Leon is. Well, yeah, it's it, funny. This town, Charlestown, they tell you at the beginning of the film that this town has produced more bank robbers than any town in America. This, this has more bank robberies than any town in the, in the entire world. And you go like, well, shit, why don't you just erect a jail around this town the bigger question is why do they keep building banks in it <laughs> <laughs> yeah it should be all online banking that's I it <laughs> i mean it's a tradition it's passed down from father to son that's what they tell you it's like what jesus christ what what is career day like <laughs> at your school you know? it's like this is my father he robs people for a living <laughs> hey kids <laughs> Time to make it real